think that how our destiny is being designed is it really the hard work or is it the kind of deeds which we do in life of course our deeds really play an important role but how exactly we can always stay motivated and every time we think about that we always stumble upon the fact that it is important in life to really remain positive however there are a lot of opinions about positive living and positive thinking and every time you must have come across a principle on positive living you must have wondered that it is really very difficult to stay positive throughout no matter how much motivated you are no matter how many books you are reading or how many videos you have watched by this time but to remain positive you must understand that there are some simple and easy techniques which are really easy to see but easy to miss hi i'm pramanko das i'm an international trainer and motivator in this video i thought what if i discuss about the secrets of living positive and remaining positive throughout 365 days a year in this video i'm going to reveal some simple and easy to things which we can all do in our life but we don't do it even if it is lying just in front of us so let us get into this video and understand that what are those seven things which we can really do to live positive 365 days a year yes my friend today when we are all running the rat race we all want to remain positive and we all know that living positive is so much important for us to live a successful and prosperous life but still we struggle to remain positive so what is that thing which we don't do or what is that thing which is really possible but we still miss it we have to first of all understand that positive thinking is like a way of conditioning a garden if you have a garden and if you don't really take care of the garden to plant the kind of flowers or the plants which you really want to grow in your garden what will happen you will find that tomorrow some weeds have grown into your garden and those unwanted plants will creep your entire garden in the same way your mind is also like a garden if you really do not nurture it properly if you do not prepare it in the right manner your mind will be full of weeds in the language of computer programmer if you say we know that there is a term called as gigo or garbage in garbage out but if i really take it in a other way i can also understand that goodness in goodness out so if you really feed your mind with the good things the good virtues the good practices definitely you will get the reflection of the good result and the goodness through your behavior so my friends most of the time when you really struggle about being happy remember the way you really live the way you really act that makes you happy and if you really want to live positively you have to first of all bring in those good practices in your life so let us understand that what are those things which we can do in our life which really can let us feel positive and which can every time motivate us to live a positive life in this video i'm going to reveal seven simple techniques which can really make you understand that what exactly we can do to make us feel positive and remain positive every time the first thing which we should do is positive self talk in today's fast changing world we have become so busy that we often forget that we should sometime talk to ourselves we really get busy talking with our clients talking with our friends with our dear ones and everybody but we do not talk to ourselves yes sometime you should find when you should talk to yourself and what you should talk these are self affirmation certain things which you can really assert yourself like i'm feeling terrific i really know i'm positive i know i can do it 
subtle statements if you can every day write in your cupboard or the dashboard every time you see those lines you really affirm the same thing you repeat the same thing every morning that i'm feeling terrific i'm really recharged and every time you see this sentence you really recon yourself that you have that optimum capacity of doing things and once again your determination your capacity are charged up remember when you are really fatigued when you are really exhausted you really have to recharge yourself and every time you self affirm yourself and you remind yourself that yes you have the determination and every time you should ask yourself are you really using your time in the right way is it the right thing which you should be doing right now are you really utilizing your time in the right manner and every time you remind yourself and every time you affirm yourself about your goals about your success about your destiny i'm sure you will really feel positive and one step you are ahead in positive living the second thing which i'm going to tell you is also very important and that is about really positively visualizing yourself yes my friends just close your eyes and think that you have accomplished everything in your life and what it should have felt that you have achieved the most successful thing of your life which you have always desired this is how exactly you should feel and that is when you really are recharged and you have already got the success sometime when we visualize ourselves positively and we can see that we have achieved all the success we feel more recharged and the third thing which i'm going to tell you is you should always understand which is very important is keep a positive surroundings many times we have a lot of people around us who are really not the good thinkers or sometimes we call them as naysayers so if you have such friend circle if you have such people around you who are continuously demotivating you they're really not giving you the kind of positive vibe immediately get rid of that association try to associate yourself with people who are really positive who really give you some positive energy who really give you the motivation to lead a positive life remember good begets good similarly positiveness begets positive so if you really want to remain positive make sure that you have the positive people around you who really can make you feel positive at the same time you also have to understand that is point number 4 is positive mental food we all know about positive food but what about positive mental food yes it is very important to condition your mind you have to every time keep conditioning your mind by reading good books by reading some articles which are based on positive lifestyle you can read about some of the biographies of some great men and women you can read about some good books which can always motivate you and remember if you really can do that every time your mind will have some positive things to really think on and you will really give them environment to your mind to think positive even it could be listening some kind of videos on youtube it can be listening to some podcast or some audio materials on your ipod or maybe your mp3 player but remember you should always engage your mind with the positive listening and positive reading and number 5 which is again very important is a positive healthy habit yes my friends most of the time we really forget in this fast life that today we have lot of gadgets and everything is at our fingertips so people have become almost handicapped really do not do anything physically always love to have a remote control in our hand and whether it is our smartphone smart television or anything we always want to just click and get things done but have you ever thought that our ancestors were more happier than us because they were really doing lot of physical activities but these days due to the smart living style or the so called smart culture we have become unsmart and that is why you will see lot of illness lot of health issues so 
let us cut up from this so called smart culture start living a balanced life eat smart example if you every day make a regime of eating healthy and really making a proper nutritional plan that which foods are really healthy for you what are the bad nutritions and if you can become selective in your food habits i'm sure you will make a first start of a positive lifestyle second thing is that make sure that every day you have at least 30 minutes of physical exercise it could be doing some kind of yoga it can be doing some physical exercise in a gym with some various exercise equipments it can be doing some treadmill it can be doing some jogging or it could be taking a brisk morning walk for 100 to 200 meters every day if you really do 30 minutes of physical exercise it is going to recharge your body it is going to pump in the oxygen in your blood it is really going to make sure that you live a really recharged life in the same way your smartphone has to be every time recharged in the same way don't forget your body needs to get recharged if you have got some holiday and you are thinking that sitting in the couch and enjoying the evening show is the best thing for you take a break do some physical exercise i'm sure you will feel more relaxed you will find the best way to get rid of your fatigue and this is the way how you can really opt for a positive lifestyle and finally which is also important in this entire process the sixth thing which i'm going to tell you my friend it is more important that is positive training you always have to understand that self training is very important some wise men have said that if you really learn formal training in your life that can give you a good living my friends but if you really want to become successful and really fulfill your dream make sure that self training is going to give you that success which you have always deserved and that can only happen when you can really do the thing which is deep in your heart and that is your passion so most of the time we really forget our passion so if your passion is doing some kind of hobby it is maybe singing it is drawing it can be giving presentation or it can be doing some games give some time for that who knows you can really succeed in that field and tomorrow you can really be at the top of the fame where you can really live the life which you have always desired for yourself and finally the seventh point which i'm going to tell you is very important is how you really can keep positive expectations about yourself and what are these positive expectations most of the time we forget that in this materialistic life when every time we are just running in the spinning wheel like a rat we forget we actually are human beings and as i always say that human beings are the spiritual beings with human experience so we must not forget that we should not really get out of our spirituality so start living a life which is deep in spirituality and you also have to understand that how you can really keep expectations for yourself which are achievable expectations for yourself which are fulfilling in itself if i for example think that i will become one of the richest man in this world there is nothing wrong in it my friend but if i think of really ruining someone and becoming rich if i think of depriving someone and really becoming successful in life that success is really of no worth think for a second think for a minute if you really agree with this point then i'm sure you will really understand the meaning of this video because we should always think win win my friends because if you can see the person on the other side smiling you can also feel like smiling because remember your smile is because of someone smile so if you can make someone smile that means you are also smiling and others happiness is our happiness and that is the motto on which the success of your life your business and this society 
is dependent. We should not forget that we are all interconnected in this world. So if we are happy today, we really can understand because when we can make others happy. So your happiness, your positivity, your success is dependent on others' success and the people who is next to you, the fellow being who is next to you, what exactly you are doing to make that person feel positive. So remember, all the seven points which I have shared to you in this video, I'm sure you have liked this video and if you really have some more ideas and you want me to speak on some other topics, please go in the comment section and share your ideas. I'm going to share the link of my earlier video where I spoke on how we really can get success in life and why still many cannot get success. Please visit that link if you want to get more information on successful living. I'm sure we'll be back for some more interesting videos and still if you have not subscribed my channel, it is time for you to subscribe my channel and click on the bell button for getting some notifications on new and latest videos on motivation. That's all for now. See you. Have a nice time. Stay blessed. Stay positive.